After giving a baby, after giving a baby, after having birth, <laughs> after giving birth to a baby. And so we got him this swaddle with these teeny, 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 tiny mittens. And literally like the most comfortable bathrobe I've ever worn. into having a newborn is using Huggies diapers. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm excited because today I am doing my hospital bag video. What's in my hospital bag? This is my sixth pregnancy, my fifth baby this far along to, to doing a hospital bag you know, packing a hospital bag and I'm really excited to share this with you guys because I feel like I've really um, you know, I've done, I've been around the block a few times and so I feel like I've really got the idea of what I want to bring and what I'm actually going to use and what will be helpful for me specifically. So I hope that this is helpful for you. If there's anything that I didn't pack that you think that I should pack, let me know. I would love to add anything. I'm, I'm totally like a maximalist, so I'm totally good adding more stuff to this bag if I, these bags if I need to. Let me know if there's anything that you absolutely need to have when you are at the hospital or if there's something that I've added that you, um, hadn't thought of before. If you're new, please subscribe, like this video, and check back soon because we should be having this baby. Really, it could be any day, but probably in the next week. I'm hoping in the next week, week and a half. So let's just jump right in, get started with um, what is in the baby's hospital bag. Okay, so this bag that I have is was given to me by, you can watch my, oh gosh, my hair. It, these days, especially with this heat wave, I feel like I have to just kind of put my hair up and just be good with it because <laughs> it's so hot. Um, anyways, in my last hospital bag video for my daughter, Lottie, um, I was gifted this bag and um, um, it is by Mom Inside. And I actually love this diaper bag. I have a more expensive one from Luli Baby, which is also like really cute. I love it. It's a black bag. I really love it, but it's super expensive. And it actually, to be completely honest, has not held up as well as this diaper bag. This looks brand new looking at it from here. I mean, there's obviously like stains inside of it from using it, from, from me using it, but it has held up so, so, so well. I love this bag. I love it. Um, and it's cute. And also my husband could use it without feeling like it's super girly. So the inside is blue. And I just have stacked these things in here. I don't think it really matters exactly where I've put them, so I'm just gonna show you what I have in here. Um, in the main, just, oops, I'm super close, sorry. <laughs> in the main compartment, I'm bringing one burp rag. This is really cute. Um, this is, I don't know if you can tell with the lighting here, but it's like this uh, brown tannish color. I just got these on Amazon Prime Day. I'm pretty sure it was Prime Day. If it wasn't, it was, it was, they weren't that expensive. They came with four of them and they were probably, they were pretty cheap. I just wanted some boy ones because if you're new here, you know now, you, you will know now that um, we're having a, our first boy. We have four girls. And so I wanted to get some type of like more masculine burp rags instead of like my pink flowery ones that we used for the girls. So um, I packed one of these because he, he could totally, I mean, usually my milk won't come in in the hospital. Um, but just in case, I've got that. I'm also bringing pacifiers. These are our favorite pacifiers that we've used for the past three girls. May didn't take a pacifier, but um, Greta, Ren, and Lottie all did. These are the MAM newborn passies, or zero to six month pass passies. And my personal opinion on pacifiers is bring your own. <laughs> I do not like the green ones that the hospital gives you. Usually they're green. They're like the circle ones with the, you know, the nipple there, but it's like a circular one. And I feel like babies, my babies at least can't hold them as well in their mouths. These ones are more rounded, um, you know, in this, um, in the, like the gripping part, it's more rounded. So it kind of just like stays settled in their mouth better my opinion. So these, um, and I'd like my babies to take passies. It makes my life easier. It makes them have something, uh, self-soothing that isn't just like me nursing them, which can also be really taxing for a, for a mom to constantly be nursing. So that's why I bring pacifiers. <laughs> Long story short, I'm bringing two diapers. I know I don't need to, but I'm like, it's a diaper bag. I feel like I need to bring diapers. <laughs> Even though I don't, I know that at the hospital, they will give me 
plenty of diapers and I won't need these, but mm, who knows? I'll just bring these. I'll just bring these just in case. And can you believe how tiny these are? Look at my hand. Look at how tiny. And I, what I love, I prefer Huggies diapers over any other diapers. Um, look at the back of this one. It's a little doggy. It's like 101 Dalmatians. It's a little doggy tail. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? I prefer Huggies diapers, especially for newborns. Once our kids get a little older, we just use like the members mark ones from Sam's Club. Um, however, Huggies for newborns, I feel like it's just kind of like a rite of passage into having a newborn is using Huggies diapers. I know some people love Pampers. I think they have a weird smell to them. I don't think they're as nice, but other people love them. Huggies are our brand of choice though for our newborns. This came with a diaper bag. It's just a changing pad. I probably will not need that um, at all. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the baby's clothes because I know this is gonna be a place, I'm trying to see if I've packed anything anywhere else. <laughs> um, I know that this can be a, what do I say, how do I say this? Like, not controversial thing, but um, some people love to pack a ton of baby clothes. Other people are like, you don't need any clothes. They just can just be swaddled. I'm. I don't know if I'm in the middle. You tell me where I'm at with this. So first, let me just take all these clothes out. There's not a ton. I'm making it sound like I have a ton. I'm bringing a white onesie because even if he just wears just a white onesie and then I swaddle him, babies in white onesies, there's just a thing about them that's just so precious and it can match anything, really. Um, so there's that. I also have this outfit for him, which we'll probably put in him after he like has his first bath or something. Look how cute this is. And the little bum is a little cloud. We thrifted or got on sale, I think all of our baby boy clothes. This is Carter's. Um, and what I love about these, this is what I recommend if you're gonna bring clothes for your babies, obviously that onesie didn't have it, but is to get the jammies or the onesies, come on, focus with, Come on. With the mittens built in to them. I am not the hugest fan of mittens, um, of just plain mittens. I don't know. Not that I'm, some, I don't know. I don't know why. I just haven't really been it, but I love these because if you have had newborn before, before, you know their nails can be really long and I'm in the hospital. I'm just like, wait, let's just cover them up. We don't need to clip them today. Okay. For, let's see, what have I got here? I also have this hat. We got these, these are just off of Amazon. I can just even put that, um, you know, put it on him with these. It's funny because we've had all girls and so we've done so many bows and, and everything and here we are now with a boy. So I'm like, we need to get some cute like beanies, some cute little hats. So I have this one just for the onesie or for this um, the, the jammies. And then what I'm planning on using for him really um, at the beginning is really just having him be a little, you know, diaper baby <laughs> with this. These are from, shoot, let me find the brand. Oh, Lulu is what it's called. L-O-U-L-O-U. -L -O -U. Show you the, that's where these, this is from. So look at how huge this swaddle is, number one. Oh, you can't even tell, it's huge. And it's ribbed gray. It's so stretchy. My favorite type of swaddle. I'm not a muslin swaddle fan. I am if I'm like, like as like a blanket laying the baby on the ground, but I'm not a fan of swaddling with muslin swaddles. I don't know, <laughs> I'm just not. But I love these types. Copper pearl we used for like all of our girls, not all of our girls, our last three. So our first we didn't, but um, we used like the swaddle, swaddle me um, with the Velcro with our first and then with the last three we used swaddles from copper pearl. And so, we got him this swaddle with these teeny, 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 tiny mittens. Look at those. You can't, can you tell how small they are? They're not, they don't even, <laughs> they are teeny, so small and so cute. So here's little mittens. I know I said I'm not a huge fan, but how can I not? Look at those, oh my gosh. And then it comes with this, it came with this hat too. Um, which is just gonna be so cute as a little newborn. I think this is what we'll swaddle him in when we take a little picture with his um, name plate, which, let me grab that out of here. Here it is. I'm not gonna show you the name. I will give you a hint that his name starts with a T. <laughs> so we have this little name, wooden name plate off of Etsy that um, 
we will take a pic oops that we will take a picture of him with when he's um you know after he's he um after the first few hours of his life okay and then to his going home outfit i these were all thrifted or yeah and my mom thrifted and gave this to us so my mom got this look at this little swaddle look i mean not swaddle look at this little onesie it is not ribbed but it's like checkered ribbed i don't know if that's a saying um and it's so tiny and so adorable so a little white onesie it's gonna be hot here but we won't be we'll really go from the hospital to the car which will will be air conditioned so it'll be good these are these were also um thrifted but carter these are carters so look at this little jacket with the matching pants <laughs> And then we've got these blue socks that my mother-in-law got us from Janie and Jack. Just little tiny newborn socks. And then this black, cute little black hat. I don't know if we'll do the black hat with it or the gray hat. We'll see. We'll see what we do. Um, but those are all the clothes that I got for him. This way, I mean, really, when they're first born, you want to do a lot of skin to skin. Um, and then after their bath, it's like, for me, I'm like, okay, let's get you, like, let's, let's dress this little baby doll up, you know? And so that's fun. Okay. The last thing I have packed in here for little baby boy is this blanket that I got from Minky Couture um, and I've wanted I, I love blankets and I wanted something for him specifically um, this is what it looks like it's like a marble um, with this black ribbon on the sides and then just gray like minky fabric and so that'll just be sweet to snuggle him in I just wanted to I, I wanted to do it and I did it and I'm really happy that I did because um, you know you might as well do what what makes me happy this time so that's fun those are all the things for little baby boy that I have and that we will be bringing for him also okay the things that are not pictured here are the gifts for the girls from the baby each of them is getting a gift we ever since um, Greta was born um, you know Greta gave me a gift and then when Ren was born, Renny gave Greta and May a gift. Then when Lottie was born, Lottie gave May, Greta, and Ren a gift. And so here we are with our baby boy. He's giving all the girls a gift. And it's tradition in our family that it is a stuffed animal. So some type of stuffed animal that they're wanting. So we'll bring those. Also, the last thing on my list that I'm not showing here is the car seat that we got. We needed a new newborn one. And so, um, yeah, I'm excited about it. It is, it'll work with our stroller as well. And that's key to me. That's something that I really think is valuable is to have a stroller, I mean, a car seat that will fit into your stroller for future use, not just for, you know, the hospital. Okay, that is everything for little baby boy. Let's move on to, oops, let me put these back in there. Let's move it, let's move on to what is in my hospital bag. Also, if you have never, um, gosh, I forgot to pack all these things. If you have never had a hospital birth before, or had a, if, this is the, if this is your first time having a baby, um, typically in the U.S., typically they will give you um, most everything you need. <laughs> um, this is just some of these things were extra that I have noticed that I've liked having at the hospital. Um, they'll give you wipes, they'll give you diapers, um, and then other things for your healing too um, after having the baby. Okay, here is my bag. This is from Target from almost seven years ago. <laughs> I've used it for every baby, which is just cozy and fun. It's funny now that finally I'm having a boy and it is blue. There's obviously flowers on it, but um, so it's feminine for me, but um, yeah, it's just, I don't even know if there's a brand on it, brand name on it, but it is just a messenger, a weekender bag from Target from a long, long, long time ago. So, this time it's a little bit different than my other pregnancy or my other I packed a few other things that I hadn't really packed in the past let's just get started with I have an outfit it's just a big t-shirt comfortable big pants that I will probably put on um, either I'll wear this home or I'll wear it in the hospital after I shower I like to shower in the hospital I don't feel the need to bring my own um, towel I also don't feel the need to bring my own flip-flops which I get which I understand some people would be like ew that's so gross but I just they clean it you know they clean the shower I'm not in there forever it's not like I'm like I don't know I, I don't I it doesn't bother me <laughs> so I don't even, I don't bring my own um, towel one less thing to bring home to clean because typically I'm bleeding you know in the shower or bleeding onto the towels and I just 
put them in their their dirty clothes and they take it away and so that is helpful anyway so here's just an outfit just something that i know will be comfortable i also brought this as an extra outfit it is just a um it's not everyone is so in love with these this is the stars above um pajamas very very soft personally for me it's a little bit like um a little short for like a nightgown but but really that doesn't matter because i'm going to be in there with my family you know with my husband my daughters my mom um and the baby and so it doesn't really matter but i have this just in case i need something different to change into because my main thing that i bought splurged on for myself it was 90 dollars um was this robe from the let's see what the brand is from nesting olive okay look at how adorable this robe is it's a wrap it's like a wrap robe a wrap dress you can wear it as a dress if you want to but i'm but but it's but it's known as a robe when you buy it i'm pretty sure i think they say you can do it for either but i wore it once i've worn it once so far washed it and then wore it and this is in a large extra large so first off the the sleeves are like three quarter length so you can be doing other things and then it's really long and i don't know if you can tell from the video but it is super super stretchy and literally like the most comfortable bathrobe i've ever worn i love that it's wrap a wrap robe because um it's not going to open up so you already feel pretty vulnerable after giving a baby after giving a baby after having birth <laughs> after giving birth to a baby and so it's really nice to have something to cover up but then also to be able to easily nurse and really i'll wear probably wear this as soon as i get i i typically i use their hospital gown have the baby in that then i get they give me another one and i put that on since i'm bleeding and everything and then once i um after that i use whatever i have my own my own clothes so i'll probably end up actually wearing this after my shower um and i'll just pull it up to sit on the pads that they put on the um, bed so that you don't bleed onto the bed um and just pull this up so i won't bleed onto it but um this i'm really excited about i'm glad that i splurged on it for myself because i will use it postpartum i can use it now i can use it when at the hospital it's i'm really really happy about that i also have a nursing bra just comfortable sleeping nursing bra and this blanket that i have brought for every single birth my sister-in-law oops let's see my sister-in-law gifted this to me and i've literally brought it to every single birth and i'm like i can't stop now i gotta bring it and so um yeah so i'll have that i'm also going to be bringing um my it's in the girls room right now it's my i got a, a minky couture hugs pink blanket for myself i'll probably bring that just to cuddle up in at the hospital to feel more homey i'm totally like an at-home person and so it's gonna be really it'll be nice to have a little piece of home with me hey there's a mint in here i'm gonna eat this right now i am gonna bring these mints me and the girls have just been snacking on them Mm. Mm. Do you chew mints or do you suck on them? The lifesaver. I love chewing them. It's not funny. It, like breaks my teeth, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. So now that I talked about those mints, I'll talk about the snacks that we're bringing. With my labor with Lottie, I labored at home. I ate Thai food. Me and my mom went to a chocolate tasting. Everything went well. Didn't throw up during labor, and everything was good. So I'm like, okay. I want to have snacks at the hospital that I'm going to enjoy. Most of them I have not packed in here. They're downstairs right now. But here, for the ones that I have right now, these are the popcorners. Just yummy, salty, something that would just be yummy. The white cheddar flavored ones. That also my mom and my husband can eat too. And then I have Pussy Roll Pops. Again, something to take my mind off of the pain. Then downstairs, we have Chomps. These yummy, like, um, strawberry yogurt yogurt covered strawberry chewy things i don't know what they're called um which we got today and then i'm bringing liquid iv the watermelon one i love and so we're bringing those for me which i feel like they really give me a boost um and then like lifesavers um the wintergreen lifesavers i'm pretty sure that's all that i have that i'm going to be bringing snack wise um obviously will get like a meal after I have the baby and everything and my mom and my husband can go and you know get what they want but for what I'm packing those are the snacks that I will be packing I will also be bringing my Stanley water bottle I love this one I got it in um, Reese's Reese Witherspoon's book club 
box. Um, I love this water bottle, so I'll be bringing that um, that I don't have packed quite yet. Let's go back to the stuff that I actually have packed. <laughs> I am bringing two sets of fuzzy socks. I've had these, I think, since I gave birth to Greta. And then these were from that same Reese Witherspoon box. Um, got it for Christmas. So I'm bringing two sets of fuzzy socks. I have dripped amniotic fluid onto my socks before. I know I need an extra pair. So I'm not gonna um, <laughs> risk not having a nice comfy pair of socks I'm bringing too. Then I have my heating pad. I think it depends on your hospital if you're allowed to bring a heating pad. I haven't even asked mine, but if I need it, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> and then if they tell me to put away, I will. Um, but, and I love this heating pad. It's probably just from Walmart, the soft heat, like three or four heating levels. Heat, heat is a nice thing to help with, um, with pain. So there's that. Then the last thing I have in here, I don't think I've packed anything else. Oh my gosh, another mint. <laughs> is um, the baby's baby book. I got this off of Amazon during Prime Day and it's really, really nice. I've gotten one for all of the girls, but this is the first time, this is originally like $32, $34 and I got it for $17 because of the, the deal. It's just gonna be fun. I'll probably fill it out before I um, am actually um, in the hospital, but I'm bringing that so I can fill it out. I think there's a spot for his little footprint and handprint, and so that will be fun to have and to bring to the hospital. Okay, oh, and then also I'm bringing slippers. I love these slippers. My sister got them for me after my birth with Lottie. Um, sports is all that it says on it. I don't know what the brand is they're just from Amazon I think but I love these so I'll have these with me to wear if I would like to walk around or anything I'm hoping that I go into labor on my own that I'm able to sit on a ball which I'm not going to bring my own because my own yoga ball because they have them there I asked when I was there for a non-stress test and so um but if I can be walking around with my slippers on that would be great even with socks as well that would be really great okay the other things that I'll be bringing that I don't have pictured or ugh, pictured gosh that I don't have in my bag right now um, are my toiletries. So in my toiletries I have makeup and then also something I really loved that I did last um, last time I gave birth was I brought things that were like self-care things. Lotion for my face, face mask, um, you know chapstick which some people might not say is you know I have like a lip mask that I'll bring. Um, things like that. I also will be bringing hair stuff in my toiletries bag so that I can put my hair up. Actually, I like washing my hair after I give birth. Um, just feeling completely renewed and really good. So I'll bring that. Maybe I'll bring my like blow, blow dryer brush thing so I can have my hair straight. I'm, I'll probably pack that just because. Um, and yeah, so that's everything that I'll pack in my toiletries. Maybe also I'll, I'll probably end up bringing my own shampoo and conditioner as well, which I still need to, um, I still need to get little tiny bottles for them um, and pack those. I'll also be bringing my camera and my camera charger, my phone charger, um, a book. I'm order. I've ordered a book that I want that is in this series that I love, but it doesn't get until the 26th. That is the day of my induction, um, and so if I go until my induction, I'll bring that book. If not, I'll bring some other book. I'm reading Harry Potter to the girls, so maybe it'll be that, or maybe it'll be another one in this other series that I love. I also have my crossbody bag with my cards in it. Um, I'll probably end up just putting my ID into my um, my diaper bag if I need it. Um, I probably won't bring anything else because my husband will be there, my mom will be there. I'm going to be packing headphones, my computer and the charger so that I can watch things that I want to um, when I'm alone in there um, with the baby or if I want to, you know, I don't know. Just having that will be nice. Um, for some entertainment while I'm in the hospital. Okay, that is everything that I am packing for my hospital bag. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if there's anything that I'm missing that I've forgotten about because I don't want to forget <laughs> anything that would be helpful for me. You know what, another thing that I am remembering now, I'll probably bring a couple of essential oils that will just calm me down, maybe lavender, maybe, um, some roll-ons, I'll probably pack those. There's probably some other random things that I'm forgetting now that I'm gonna be like, oh, we have to go grab that. But <laughs> overall, I think this is really 
everything I've got. Let me know what you thought of this video, if it was helpful, and if you packed any of these similar things. And I will see you guys in my next video, which should be my 37 week update because I will be 38 weeks in, let's see, in two days. And so my 37 week update should be up soon. Check that out and I will see you guys next time, bye.